This is one in a series of short but informative videos that explain how to perform the power on self-test standard in all industrial printers. The first of three self-tests is the pause test. You perform this test by holding in the pause button while you power on the printer. Once the power switch is turned on, keep the pause key pressed in for about 10 seconds, then you can release the pause button. This test will print a label format that will fire every element across the printhead and can be used to determine if there is an element or elements burned out on that printhead. You will know if there are elements out when you see a vertical void in the print on every label printed. If you see voids on the printed labels, clean the printhead thoroughly with lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol, then run the test a second time. If the voids are still there, it's time to replace your printhead. If you have a ZT510, ZT600 series, or a ZE511 print engine, another use for the printed pause test samples is to determine if your printhead is aligned properly. You can tell by counting the number of lines on the upper right corner of the label and comparing it to the number of lines on the upper left corner of the printed label. If they match, the printhead is aligned and parallel to the platen drive roller. If it is not matched, adjust the printhead alignment per the instructions in the maintenance manual until they are matched. The second of our self-test videos is the power on feed test. You perform this test by holding in the feed button while you power on the printer. Once the power switch is turned on, keep the feed button pressed in for about 10 seconds. Then you can release the feed button. This test will print a series of labels with both normal and rotated orientation barcodes. The darkness will increment by one with each label printed starting at negative three from your current darkness setting through positive three. You can use this test to find the optimum darkness setting for the supplies you are using. Example, if your current darkness setting is 10 and the best print quality from the self test strip is negative three, then change your darkness to seven. That is your optimum setting. The final self test is the cancel test. You perform this test by holding in the cancel button while powering on the printer. Once the power switch is turned on, keep the cancel key pressed in for about 10 seconds, then you can release the cancel button. This test will print a printer configuration label. That lists every current setting on that printer. This is a very useful diagnostic tool when troubleshooting an issue. It is an often used self-test by technical support and service technicians. For more information, visit zebra.com forward slash support.